hey guys welcome to another video today we will see how to create a partition in RHL machine using fdisk tool in our previous video we saw how to create a local yum repository on RHL 7 machine if you haven't watched that video I'll put the link into the description you can go and watch that video and if you like the video click the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get the notification because your support will motivate me to make more videos and I'll be coming up with more videos every day so stay tuned all right then without further ado let's get directly into our practical so here what you see is is the list of commands that we will use to create the partition using fdisk first we will see how many disk we have with the help of fdisk hyphen l command and as you can see I have a disk SDA of 21 GB and already two partitions created okay so I'll create the third partition so I'll use fdisk and the partition on the device SDA there are some options if you click M here so we will be using some of the options that is if we type the letter N it gives a prompt to add a new partition if we type Q it will quit without saving the changes and if we type W it will write the changes and save it okay so I will as of now I will type N because I want to create a new partition so currently I want to create a primary partitions there are two options to create one is primary and one is extended so for this example I'll be creating a primary partition so it says the partition number 3 or 4 I will go with the default one and that is 3 remember always we have to keep the first sector empty so I'll just click on space and I'll make a partition of 50 MB okay the partition 3 of type Linux of size 50 MB is set so what do I do now I will save the changes all the steps are written over here if you want we can click on P what P will do P will print us that how many partitions are present now as I already told you that there were only two partitions present and this is the third partition that we have created now so what is the next step the next step is to type W and save the changes okay so the partition is created and it is saved so what is the next step the next step is instead of rebooting the machine you may be able to get away with just running the partex or part pro command so I will type part probe you can use any of the command partex or part probe now once the partition is created we will have to we will have to make the file system and that will be done with the help of mkfs command So to format the file system mkfs.ext4 and the partition that we have created that is sda3 So once the formatting has been completed we will now ma mount the partition on a directory so for that I will create a directory first and I will mount the partition that I have created on that directory
so now the partition that we have created it is mounted on the slash data directory and if you want once your system is rebooted and you want your partition to be present so you have to do mandatorily the entry in etc fs tab if you can see i have given the format how you have to do the entry first we will use the vi editor and go into the file press shift g and o in that way you will come to the end of the file and also you will get the option to insert so first type your partition name then we have to type the directory on which it will be mounted then we have the file system that is ext4 we will be using then we type the default Zero zero. These are the fields that we will. So now, if my system is rebooted, still my partition will be available. So for that reason, we do the entry in V F S tab. So now, you know that how to create a partition using F disk command. so we'll just have a look and verify whether the partition is present or not so you can see the partition that we have created is there so that brings us to the end of this video and i'll be coming up with these type of videos every day so stay tuned and if you like the video click the like button subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon okay signing off as of now see you in the next video till then take care bye bye